Hello YTPC. Joshua Stewart <clears throat> smoking a pipe up north in the woods. As you can see, once again, we're not in the woods. We're in the shop down south. I'm going to uh, be a little brave today. I'm going to try a straight Virginia with a little bit of kick. I've never tried this before. Beautiful tin art. Very colorful. And I'd, I have read a couple of reviews that it packs a wallop with the nicotine, apparently. So I'm a lightweight when it comes to nicotine, so I've got, I think this is just a basket pipe of some sort. It's got a smaller bowl. Ow, ow, ow. Somebody dug their claws into my leg when he jumped up. So anyway, a royal yacht. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. It's not super strong in the smell. You can definitely tell that there's the Virginias. It's got that hay type smell. Yeah. Not real strong though. On the on the tin note anyway. in there pretty tight in the in the tin I'm not gonna pack it that tight in the pipe in fact from what I've read with the comments regarding the nicotine I don't think even this smaller pipe I'm only gonna do about <clears throat> probably two-thirds of a bowl they I had another bowl of the Escudo last night that I'm finding that I like that stuff quite a bit and then I had it in that uh, ghosted K. Witty White Briar and I, I had it packed pretty full because I was looking forward to it and wanted to enjoy it but by the time I got to the end I was ready to be done. I mean, there was a little bit of knock me on my butt going on. So, that'll give you a perspective of how light of a lightweight I am when it comes to the nicotine. Um, anything rated at medium or higher just about does me in. So, Peterson, the Royal Yacht. See what we got. <laughs> I think that was just me you know, just breathing wrong. It's not uh, packing that much of a kick yet. Should have set it out to let it dry for a little bit. It doesn't want to light very good.
I thought I was getting just a, a hint of a bite going on, but I think that was just heat from the flame from the lighter. I'm having trouble keeping this lit right now. Now it's a little bit loose on that. We'll tamp it down a little bit, try it again. I got a little bit of that. It's it's not tongue bite, it's just I don't know if there's some heat that... It's lingering or something, but... I think we got it going now. After having the Escudo Navy Deluxe the last couple of days, this is seems like a step down and just uh now with that I'm not saying that it's bad and I, I think this is a straight Virginia is a unique smoking blend original recipe a unique smoking experience created by the beautiful blend of yellow and bronze virginia This particular tin looks like it was tinned in July of 23. So. What's that, about nine months of age? And maybe there is just a, a little bit that it might want to bite, but
Not bad though. Once I got it lit, it seems to be going pretty good. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness. Now, I'm not one of those guys that can pick out, oh, there's some fig notes or apricot notes or, or uh, you know, any of that. I did smell the hay when I opened the tin, but I don't know what hay tastes like, so I couldn't tell you if I'm tasting it or not. As many times I got to relight this, so. probably should have let it sit out and dry for about ten minutes. I'm sure once the tin has been cracked, now it won't take, or eventually it'll dry out a little bit. That first tin of three nuns, I cracked that open, I think it was last fall. November maybe, I don't remember for sure. December, January. Whatever it was, but uh, that I never did jar it up and or up until just last week I finally jarred it up because it was getting dry in the tin. Okay, this is getting better as we go along. And Sweeter. I'm getting the Virginia sweetness. I mean, it, it, it's not like candy. I'm going to put you on pause here for a little bit. We're, I should have put you on pause a few minutes ago, but I'm going to work my way down a little further and just see how it's doing. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. I basically got it finished already. Sorry about that. Didn't catch. There might be just a little bit left in there. Looks like mostly ash, though. Starting to plug the filter. Yeah, I think we're.
we're done. But so, final thoughts. I guess the nick hit wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I mean, it's definitely there. But I was worried that just a small bowl would lay me out on the floor. And it didn't do that, even for a lightweight like myself, as far as nicotine goes. Flavor was very pleasant. Um, kind of got the sweet Virginia. Um, so I got spoiled the last couple days with the Escudo. It, it, it's no Escudo, but it's it's still pretty decent. Um, yeah, kind of just I'll have to try it again after after a few days or or weeks when I haven't had a Escudo for a couple days directly in front of it. Actually, the, the nick hit, it feels like it's hitting a little, even though I'm I'm not smoking anymore, it feels like it's hitting just a little bit yet. So maybe it's kind of a delayed hit coming on. But, um, we got the proverbial fine white ash that came out, so see what the yeah, we got some kind of ugly grayness in the filter. But, oh, yeah. I heard a door slam. We're expecting company this coming tonight. Wife's parents are coming. And then we're going to leave at the crack of dark in the morning and drive a couple hours. The daughter's got an event. And then uh, we'll be there all day and be back at night sometime, probably about midnight for who knows. Yeah, probably be at least 10 before we get home. Probably close to midnight, so. Anyway, lots of hours on the road tomorrow. Um, so, all you guys at the pipe show, I'm jealous. I wish I was there. Say hi from me. <laughs> all right. Joshua Stewart, smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Have a good day.